Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. We're looking at about 45 and dry, and Saturday about the same. Sunday starts out okay, but uh, right now, and it could pass, who knows, they're saying wintry mix Sunday afternoon into Monday afternoon, Candy. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. (laughs) Could affect your Monday commute or any driving you have to do Sunday, and yeah, so... Uh, just letting you know. Just reporting right. the news. Please don't say it again. You've said it way too many times uh, already. We need people to be aware so they can all plan. All right, if you say. Need to be able to plan. Um, all right, we have a few things to get to here. Um, a follow-up to a story yesterday my sister Amy texted me about. Oh. So remember we uh, told the story about the Olive Garden manager? Yes. Who, yes, said... Uh, um, you know, you cannot call in sick, and if your dog dies, you must bring your dog in so we can see oh, it. Oh right. man! Okay, all this stuff. So uh, we know the that that woman got fired. We know that let go by Olive Garden. My sister Amy texted me, and and so that sparked the thought between us. You know, one of the things we said was, while we think she definitely should have been fired, that's out of control. Um, restaurants today have trouble staffing um they have trouble finding workers and maybe even though she didn't present it correctly that email was sent out of desperation because she can't staff the restaurant okay all right all right now this is what sparked my sister amy to text she said that she went to a restaurant with her husband paul and this was during better weather and they were told oh, the inside is closed due to a private party. Uh, there is only seating outdoors today. So they, they didn't think anything of it. They sat, they ate. But I guess at one point, Paul went in to use the bathroom or something or got to talking to someone from the staff and found out there was no private party. That's an excuse they used because they couldn't staff the restaurant. They had to close the inside. Oh, oh. So it is a hard time out there it is it is i was literally at a mall yesterday and um there to check out yet to find someone at one of the checkout i mean the store look abandoned it was insane yeah it's it's wild out there it is um so especially if you're doing the uh holiday shopping your christmas shopping your hanukkah shopping you go out there you better get it done before the week of christmas i will tell you that It was something to find someone working that could check us out. It was crazy. Absolutely. Um, By the way, before we get to the Harry and Meghan thing, my sister Amy also was, uh, and I never get this, she says, can you call me? I said, sure, I can. Like, you need my... What? You you need my help? You need my opinion on something? Well... She she, um, is, is thinking about, she hasn't done it yet, thinking about booking a cruise for her family and wanted some advice they're thinking oh, about. Oh, here we go. What? <laughs> what? Go ahead. No, she... Um, you are not, the expert on everything cruising. There's nothing much to tell other than she's think. they're Why thi- doesn't she join you on your 50th birthday cruise? That was, first of all, um, that was my first question to her. And I said, look, we're, we're, you know, you know, we're going again next summer and we're celebrating and we got Abby's uh, celebration and we got my celebration and, and, and Dana's celebration. It's a whole festive thing. She, they want to do Alaska candy. Oh, you know, yeah. we were talking about that. Yeah. They want to do Alaska. They don't want to, like, we're different types of people. Like, we're good with sailing uh, down to the Caribbean and the Bahamas and enjoying the sunshine and sitting by the pool and stuff. That's the type of people we are. We go for the cruise ship and for the weather. They want to do some sightseeing and go see glaciers and I think, you know, I would, my next cruise would probably be to Alaska because I am also interested in that. And I think it's a great way to see Alaska without having to, uh, you know, traipse all around. Well, a thousand percent. And I know a lot of people in the last year who've gone uh, to Alaska, I and they amazing. 
Amazing. They love it. And by the way, complete side note, I've always thought about, and we've talked about it, how if I ever was going to go to Italy or Europe or whatever, I would do uh, like a cruise where you go like parts of Italy and then parts of Greece and go like it makes 10 Very stops nice, or whatever. But it's not my thing. I'm going yeah. to Italy. I'm uh, going to the people. Uh, <laughs> you're I going. eat in a local family dinner. Well, you could uh, still do yeah. that on a well, cruise. All right. I know. I'm sorry. I have to go now. I can't stay for dessert. My ship is leaving. <laughs> I know what you mean. All right. Harry and Meghan. Okay. So Ugh. the new... could you just give me a moment? Go ahead. I know you hate Meghan. Okay? I don't hate anybody. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to change your mind. Um, Harry and Meghan docuseries debuted on Netflix yesterday. And I have watched the first episode and a half. And within the first 20 minutes, I texted you, Candy. You did. And I said, this will change your view. Now, I had no preconceived notion about Harry and Meghan. As a matter of fact, I've always thought, because of Princess Diana, I've always thought, wow, this has to be extremely difficult for Meghan Markle to be in that scenario. Of course. Scenario. And then you wanted your privacy. Mm -hmm. You got your privacy. And now you're all over the place. Okay. So he, hold on. She hold, does sh hunger for fame. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Watch before you judge. I haven't even seen the whole thing. I watched an episode and a half. Number one, they have made me believe that they did this because they wanted to get their side of the story out. Because you have to admit, all we know, all we hear is, oh, you know, that that that, that Megan, you know, that she's this, she's that. Oh, uh, no, you know, that's you, not what I'm hearing. No, yeah, please, please. I, uh, you, I you yourself, you yourself, I don't even know why I'm defending them so ferociously. I don't but either. You yourself sat here or sitting here today saying that, uh, listen, you just want fame. You just want fame. You want I privacy. Think when you go, Good. right. If some a person who wants privacy does not do a show on Netflix for $100 million, right. is it the money? Is it the fame? It is something. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you this. If you're going to hold steady with your, you know, all the good that you're doing in this okay. world, why would you fly a private jet to go to, please. Okay, you got it. Can, can you stop okay? for, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Um, you have to watch. It's like the good doers Stop. version of Kardashian. Stop. Leave me alone. Stop. I will tell I'm. I'm just going to make a couple of statements and then you can comment after. Okay. Statement number one. In the first 20 minutes of this docuseries, um, the love between these two, I, I. I've never denied that. And I okay. think they're deeply in love and I'm very happy for them. Oh, I I'm am very all happy in. happy they had two healthy children. Shh. Let's calm down for a second. Take a step back. I will take a step back. You You're will not take a win step this, back. So keep Hold going. Hold on. Because no, but you have what I'm saying is before I watched this, my thought on them was first of all, I don't care, but the second was yeah, what you don't want? All right, you're out of the royal family. Then go hide in your mansion, and I don't want to hear from you. Uh, go to L.A. and I don't. Uh, that's my thought as well. Like get out of the spotlight. But when you watch this, you can see that All they right, are. So what did you? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> you can see they are not just them. But her mother and other friends and family. Lovely, yes. They are, shh, 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 shh. they are bursting at the seams to tell their side of the story where they're not getting ripped by the media. Like, so they can put their story and their words out there to show you what went on and why they're doing this to change the narrative. And Candy, I believe them and I'm all in on it. I'm all Good in for on you. it. Good for you. Okay. I'm done. The queen died. So did I. Don't bother this, me. Wow, this is wild day today. Wild show this morning, Candy. <laughs> you will not. You're not going to watch it. You're not going to check it I out. I am not going to watch it. I will not. First of all, I read a lot about it yesterday. It was all over the pr press. Okay. So I read everything. Yeah. And wait. I, oh, I, I'm oh, up to you date. Read, oh, you read, you read reviews from the media. Is no, that I, what you did, Kate? I Katie? read what, you know, what uh -huh. Harry, some of the things he mm. said, she said, the baby shots, this, that, and the other thing. I'm done. 
Okay, you read reviews. I don't watch the Kardashians. You you need on Hulu. you need to watch it in their own words. You need to go watch Harry and Meghan. I'm not. I don't have to see, do anything okay. I don't want to do. Well, I'm I'll telling tell you, you what. If your father watches it and tells me it's worth watching, then I'll watch. Until Paul gives me the green light, I'm not watching. I'm just gonna tell you, episode and a half. I'm a Meghan Markle fan. Okay. Good. Good. All right. I'm sure she's a lovely woman and wants to do good in the world. Don't we all? Now, I don't have a show with my granddaughter, Maeve, although I think she's the greatest thing on the earth. Nobody wants to hear my story. Leave it alone. Oh, my God. You are Move a piece on. of work, lady. Piece Move of on, work. Move on, Paul. You give me the okay. It's a different story. All right. We're moving on because... Please, because you've lost your mind. I'm going to reach right through my headphones and computer <laughs> and grab you. And then I'm going to get in trouble. Okay. Woohoo! All right. Less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, dry, decent, 45 the next couple days. Sunday afternoon into Monday, we could have a wintry mix. Be on the lookout for that. We hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.